Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research established this research center, which is the Petroleum Research Center, with the aim to make it a regionally recognized center of excellence uh, in both upstream and downstream technologies. The main purpose of this center actually is to serve the oil sector and to be the R&D arm uh, uh, you know, of the petroleum uh, industry in Kuwait. It has a foundation. Uh, it is uh, uh, the first in the region. It was started in 1967. So it has uh, a fairly amount of maturation. The development of technologies in different areas is a continuous process. Why you develop every time? Because there is a need, there is a requirement, there is a way that you have to find a cost-effectiveness uh, technology, uh, impressed technology which can fulfill your requirement. There is enormous challenges uh, that the petroleum industry uh, is facing and those uh, challenges definitely need innovative answers. We are concentrating on how to improve the reserved oil in, in the country, how, uh, how we can probably develop technologies to improve the, uh, the recovery. In this center, we have five types of programs. Each program is focused in one area in the field. First program, we call it Enhance or Recovery. Enhance or Recovery means their work is totally with the upstream. The reservoir is the more uh, complex part of the earth geology. And as we go to deeper and more difficult oil, we need more understanding. This way we will enhance our capability of producing at lower costs. If we develop a technology which has to do related to enhance oil recovery, increasing the production, this technology, of course, can be used in any other country, in the GCC countries or in the world, uh, based on how much effective is this technology. Another two programs, we call one of them optimization refining processes, and we have a refining capacity flexibility. These two programs under the uh, downstream process. This program particularly deals with the hydro processing. Hydro processing means you treat the petroleum fraction in the presence of the catalyst and the hydrogen. We uh, have a number of patents related to the spent catalyst in, where, in which we try to develop a technology to recover the metals as well as to reuse this, uh, this spent catalyst. This can be used everywhere if it is acceptable and then commercialized. We are very good in catalysis monitoring also, we have now for producing the catalyst as well, we preparing of the catalyst evaluation, and also we are doing it in our labs. We have here a very a unique lab, we call it pilot plant, which is simplified from the refinery. We try to align our research activities with the requirement needed by KNPC, and at the same time, uh, having this facility, which, which I'm talking now here, uh, is give us the opportunity because this consider a small refinery which is mimicking the real refinery. It's operational 24 hours. So if we target a certain specific product, so we can make a full study, giving the results upon the completion of the results, giving it to, to the client, namely KNPC, there is a, a great potential to they use it on the commercial units. It's important because uh, the, the refinery and all the technology are changing with the years, okay, in order to take account of the environment. Uh, but more you take account of the environment, you reduce the gain of the refinery. You have to maintain your gain uh, respecting the environment. Because of this, we are developing this technology that they are taking account all these elements. Petroleum refining, you are processing specific uh, feedstock, but this is feedstock also properties is changing, so you need to develop catalyst. As the property changes, the sulfur content, for example, the sulfur content is increasing. So what technology that you have to use in order to reduce the sulfur, to be accepted uh, worldwide, so the people they can buy your, your uh, commodity or your product, uh, which is meeting the uh, international standards. 
So the demand for technology development is always there. Fourth one, which is the corrosion, corrosion assessment and mitigation. And here it's falling into two areas, which is downstream and upstream, and to prevent any kind of failures happens in the future. Cost of corrosion for the oil industry is in millions. Imagine a simple failure in a refinery, a crack in a vessel or a pipe or a reactor. It means for the refinery shutdown of a unit and uh, they take several days to change the uh, damaged uh, piece of equipment. So you lose production for several days. The last one, which will be petrochemicals. In our program, we are focused on enhancing the product properties. And we are focusing as well on trying to engineer high performance uh, polymers. In these two uh, solutions, we can help the, the, the sector to be more competitive in comparison with the market and international market products. There are many, many technologies worldwide, but uh, which technology would suit uh, the reservoir that you have? Imagine in, uh, in, uh, not only each country has uh, its own uh, oil uh, properties, but each well, each well, they, it has its own characteristics. So in this case, you have to really look into technology to produce what we call it, this type of uh, crude oil, which is under category of non-conventional oil recovery. That's why we introduced the improved oil recovery, the enhanced oil recovery, to produce the heavier feedstock. We're also uh, responsible to have uh, staff to be well-skilled and trained, Kuwaiti staff in particular, also having students from university, from public authority, to, to having their, uh, for example, their thesis or something like that. So we, we work collaboratively with those uh, affiliations in order to, uh, to end up with high caliber uh, staff that can, can not only be used at Kisar but also in the oil sector. We have to really be ready and confident in, in, in our research projects that we conduct and uh, also uh, to be highly recognized and acknowledged uh, uh, for, for the science and technology and innovation uh, locally, regionally and internationally. I think the needs require such institute to exist not only in Kuwait and the region but all over the world because energy uh, is uh, one of the main factors that uh, impact uh, sustainability. We have a fantastic team, we have a marvelous equipment under one roof, so it is a really a platform to start directional uh, research in all kinds. The vision is clear now, uh, based on the, this close relationship that we have, now it's getting more and clearer and clearer to us exactly how to, where to focus and how to probably achieve these uh, these uh, plans that we we set